Hey, hey guys, guys. Randolina here and we're at Bloody Bay Tobago. We're here for the Blue Food Festival. We're going to check out all the wonderful things they can make with the root crop grown right here, Dashin. Started 24 years ago in a small village, Lansme, up here and there, as a community public partnership. And um, it has grown now into a major tourism event. And the whole focus at that time when they started was that village is well known for the tuba dashin. And um, at that time, the idea was, let's see how many products we can make from dashin. And that, that's how the blue food concept was developed. Innovative dishes around dashin. Yeah, Tobago, Blue Food Festival. We're here with Zach. I trying dashin ice cream for the first time. Boy, go from here. Boy, move from here. <laughs> right? And let me see how it is. <laughs> Okay, in a bad. I thought it would be more earthy, but it's nice and smooth, creamy. In a bad, you can try it, try it once and nice it. Overall, I like the setting, the layout, and I think that we expect a lot of people coming today. God has blessed us with some sunshine. All right, knock on. <laughs> and then what I like is what I saw this morning with the farmer's market and the petting zoo. And then the farmer's market, I found it rather diverse. So I have some dashing wine here. Nice, very sweet taste, it's also very strong. <laughs> <laughs> a taste of tobacco, right? Woo, I spill anyway. <laughs> like I got drunk with all this thing. The sun is so hot so much, so we're trying some dashing infused polori. <clears throat> For one, it's heavier. It's really cool to see the versatility of dashing. Coconut rum cream. Time to smile plenty, right? <laughs> the coconut strong, but the alcohol is stronger. I love this one. I love this one. This this will have a boozy for the rest of the night. And you have several other bush meats associated with that. Think about anyone. A goatee tattoo, la la la. But apart from that, we have entertainment all evening. Just had a dashing jam from Susan's Delight. Big up to Susan. I went back to taste it and it was sold out. I need to get it when I come back. We have a gluten free pigeon peas doubles here. And I mean, at first sight, it looks like a bake and pigeon peas. It isn't soft and fluffy, it's a little crunchy. Well, it feels a little tough to the touch, but um, I mean, we go try it. Nothing wrong with trying it. Wow, that is crunchy and stewed pigeon peas. It's basically like a bacon pigeon peas. We've been here for the last five hours. I mean, the pork still, still roasting. I don't know if you'll get a piece of that today. Special thanks to Tobago Festival for inviting us over here. And I mean, we had a great time. You know, it's a real nice community event. Everybody's involved. I can't wait to return to Tobago Blue Food Festival next year.